Well, hello and welcome back to another edition of The Rock Goddess Reacts. I am your hostess with the mostest of the crazy rock goddess Dawn Dyer here with you from Rock Rage Radio to bring you hopefully another amazing, amazing, amazing song. Another one very much by request when requests were still done the way they are done. Uh, I still have quite the list of stuff that I have to like react to. Uh, but we're going to get through this one too. Uh, a lot of you guys have bugged me about this. And even though it is only a lyric video, we're going to check it out together anyway. Um, because, because man, y'all are, y'all are all up in my grill about shit. <laughs> anyway, real quick, before we get to any of that, like and subscribe below, please. And thank you. It helps all of these videos travel better. Uh, if you want, ring the bell, that way you will know when I upload new music. And I know you guys all love music because otherwise you would not be here. So, uh, do the things, that way you will know when I do stuff. And then you can come and watch all kinds of cool and amazing up and coming bands, including this one, V.O.B. That's what we have just decided, we're, we're abbreviating it because then I can't fuck it up. Uh, V.O.B., the enemy of the earth is you. Uh, you guys asked for it many, many times. And the funny thing is, is this song came out while I was mid reacting to like the first or second song that, that you guys asked me to do. And, um, yeah, so I didn't get a chance to like react to it when it first came out, but I figured mm, it's time now. So we'll go check it out. Anyway, uh, let's get to it real quick and we're off and running. I got to make sure all this is turned on and ready to go.
All right, all right, all right. I am back. I am. Uh, listen, man, I have a thing for a band who has a great message. I just do. Um, like, the one thing, other than the fact that they're an all-girl band and they fucking rock, other than that, which is already a plus in my category. Um, but listen, we live in the weirdest times. I wonder if other people have ever thought that way, that they live in, like, the weirdest times. We definitely live in the weirdest times. Um, and the one thing that I can say for sure is that it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Now that like we can all reach each other worldwide, it's pretty goddamn cool. Um, but it doesn't matter where you live in the world. We're all having this, um, situation that we, a lot, a lot of people weren't paying attention for a while. We we're all busy trying to get by, trying to do the things, right? Um, raising your kids if you're my age, right? And, um, you know, just trying to, trying to get by, <laughs> Try, trying to get by the best way you could. Um, knowing that, you know, the earth is fucked. Like we're not taking care of our planet. We're not taking care of each other. Um, you know, in, in my country, we look at, in the United States, we look at other places and go, look at how well they take care of their people. And I'm sure that's the same in other places as well. No place is perfect. No place is ever going to be perfect. We're humans. We screw up, right? But when you know you screw up, you should fix the screw up or try to fix the screw up or definitely do better. Um, the mere fact that there are so many of us that are all on, listen, you don't have to agree with everything to realize that things are very out of whack right now. We need to take better care of our planet. This is where we live. We live here. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the land we live on is all super important. It just is. Uh, those of us, we, we're supposed to, like, we're supposed to give a shit about each other. And um, a whole lot of people, not everyone, obviously, but a whole lot of people have lost track of the fact that we're supposed to care about each other. We're supposed to care about and love one another. We're not supposed to try to kill people. We're not supposed to cause wars. We're not supposed to enslave other people. None of those things are traits that we should inherently want to do. Inherently, we should want to love one another. So I, that's as, that's as far as I'm going to take all of this right now. But I think you guys all get the gist of it. Um, I am on board 150% with a band who has a fabulous message that they want to put out there. I have not heard one song yet that isn't about, in the grand scheme of things, loving one another and doing better, you know? Um, I've not heard one. So I I'm like fully on board as far as that goes to the point of when they do come here, I am attempting, I can't guarantee it's gonna happen. Doesn't always happen. But I am attempting to set it up so that I can do an interview with them when they come. And I will drive the five hours to go see them play. So, uh, cross your fingers for me. <laughs> it's not always so easy to get a hold of the right people to be able to do the things. So I'm going to try. And I would love to be able to talk to these ladies. I really would. I think it would be a great talk. And I think, uh, I think it would be good fun. I really do. Uh, and I appreciate all of you guys. The ones of you guys who have suggested that I check them out. Thank you all very much for making sure I check it out. And thank you for helping make it so that it reaches more people. It is reaching people that it never would have reached before. And that is fabulous. And that's the goal of this channel. Is to make sure everything I put out there reaches as many people as possible. So if you haven't done it already, go check it out. I've done some other reactions to this band. I've done a whole lot of reactions to other bands. And you guys should go check them out because that's how all of these bands grow. And you can guarantee that anything that's, uh, that I don't like, you won't see. <laughs> because I don't, I feel like I don't need to put that kind of negativity out there. I don't. Uh, I am fully on board with like putting out positive messages as much as possible. So, uh, definitely check them out. I know they're coming to the States soon. They probably have a bunch of other things coming up as well. Go check out their pages. I will link all of that stuff in the description box as well as the original video. 
uh, go check them out, find out where they're playing, go see a live show, all of that fun, happy stuff. Uh, if you happen to go to a show that I'm at, stop, say hi to me. I do not bite hard. <laughs> I don't, I don't bite hard. All right. I'm going to get out of here because we don't want to make these super duper long. Uh, many thumbs up from the rock goddess. I am so appreciative of the fact that you guys turned me on to this band. I super dig them. Uh, they really are in the vein of, you know, Rage Against the Machine and The Fever 333, both of which I adore for the same reasons that I enjoy this band. So, uh, thank you guys very much for that. Uh, if you would like to or whatever, you should catch me on the air. I am on Rock Rage Radio weekdays, noon to 3 Eastern Time in the United States. Definitely tune in, check it out. I play all kinds of amazing up and coming bands, um, do all, all kinds of fun interviews, all kinds of fun shit. So definitely do that. Uh, you can grab yourself a free app, rockrageradio. Or you can grab yourself a free app, the Google Play Store, the Apple Store. Tune in via rockrageradio.com. Rockrageradio.com is the simplest way to do that. You can also yell at Alexa, tell her to turn on Rock Rage Radio. And if you listen to music on TuneIn, you can also tune in via TuneIn. So do the things, tune in, all those fun things. Share this video. Let's spread these bands. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I have mad love for all of you. I want you guys to go out into the world, go be good humans to other humans. And I will see you guys all the next time on the Rock Goddess Reacts.